Masarap kumawit, mga kapatid. Amen. Amen. Lalo na kung nangyarali sa ating mga puso, ating kumawit. And the song says, The reason I live is to worship you. Amen. Kaya tayo po ay nabubuhay eh, para lang purihin natin ang ating Diyos na buhay. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, sabi po niya, let us, let us worship the Lord in spirit and Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So bago po ang insahe ng Panginoon, gusto ko muna nga sabihin po sa ating lahat at congratulations! Amen! Amen. Sab sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, congratulations! Congratulations! Amen. Hallelujah! So, it is our victory! Hallelujah! Amen. Ang ating uh, ninth year anniversary is a very victorious! Amen! Amen! Of course, dahil yan po sa import, sa lahat po ng mga kapatiran, maraming maraming salam, especially to our dear Salmanim. Hallelujah! Amen! Napakaganda po ng ating uh, ginawa po nila. Amen! Amen! So, uh, praise the Lord, at uh, tunay nga po ng Panginoon ang uh, gumagabay sa ating lahat. That's why, very victorious po ang ating uh, anniversary. Amen. Amen. Salamat po sa lahat ng ginagit ng Panginoon, sa mga nag-present, sa mga nagluto, sa mga nag-prepare sa usina, sa mga namalengke, sa mga nag-donate ng mga pagkain, purihin po ang Panginoon sa inyong mga buhay. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, with us, with us further ado, um, ang topic po natin ay umagang So, our topic for today is uh, when God get, gets angry at the rich or when God gets angry. At patatagpuan po natin ito sa James chapter 5 verses 1 to 6. May as they can no to read our passage for the day in James chapter 5 verses 1 to 6. James chapter 5 verses 1 to 6. Warning to raise oppressors. Now listen you both, you rich people, weep and wail because of the misery that is coming upon you. Your wealth has rotted and most have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. The corrosion will testify against you and eat your breast like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workmen who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered innocent men who were not opposing you. Puri na Diyos sa pagkabasa ng kanyang Amen. Tayo po ay yung mako at manalangin. Salamat, di Pamnoni, sa pagkabasa ng banalang sa kita ng Panginoon. Our precious Father in Heaven, we thank you, Lord, for the reading of your words. And Father, we ask Lord God, bless us this morning. Bless us through your words, O God, as we open our hearts and minds, Father, to receive your words, O God. Yes. May you strengthen us, challenge us, and rebuke us, O God, in your words, Father God. Father, we ask you, Lord God, to bless your people today. Amen. And use me, Father God. <coughs> Anoint my lips, Father God. Pour out new revelations, Father God. As I open my lips, O God, to speak your words <coughs> to your people. And Father, I rebuke any evil spirit in this place. <coughs> In the name of Jesus, get out in this place. Amen. Any disturbance in this place, 
In Jesus' name, get out. Yes, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you so much, O God, for the victory this day. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our topic for today, beloved brothers and sisters, is when God get, gets angry at the rich. Alam niyo kung mapa, compared to many people in the world today, we are indeed blessed. Amen. Amen. Dahil nandito po tayo sa Korea, masasarap po ang kinakain po natin dito. Amen. Amen. Dito po sa Korea, matitikman po natin parang gulay natin ang karne. Amen. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Sarap buhay po tayo. So, in comparison, beloved, Today, in the past, kahit sa, sa unang panahon, tayo po ay uh, mas blessed sa nila. Amin po ba? Amen! Because we are very rich. Sino po ang mayaman dito? Amen! 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 Amen. Ayun Amen. po ba lang may mayaman? Amen! Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! So, sino po ang gusto niyo maman? Pagkitas ka po ang kamay! Ayun yung maman. Ayun yung maman. Praise the Lord. Pero sabi kasi ng title natin, kaya yung iba, ayaw magtas ng kamay, sabi niya, when God gets angry at the rich sa mga mayayaman. Ayun yung iba. Pata mga rich. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pero, dapat po natin maunawaan, mga kapatid. Kailangan po natin malaman that God does not condemn the rich for being rich. Amen. Hindi po kinundiman ang uh, Diyos ang mga mayaman dahil sila po ay mayaman. Amen. Amen. Pero kung ganun, maraming, maraming tao po, maraming karas, there are so many characteristics or characters in, uh, characters in the Bible that they are so very rich. Like Job. Like Abraham, like Joseph, David, Solomon, Barnabas, Philemon, Lydia. Marami pong yung doctor ni Sister, ni Sister Lydia. Mayaman pala sa Biblia. Mayaman. Pero so, so, hindi po, it is important to know that God does not, does not condemn the rich because for being, for being rich, beloved brothers, and sisters. Gayun pa ba? However, God does speak of difficulty of the rich people being saved. According to Matthew chapter 9, 19 verses 23, 26 to 26. Sabi doon, 26, mas, uh, mas, uh, mas madali pa na yung kamelyo ay pasok sa butas ng garayon kaysa sa mayaman na papasok sa karihan ng, sa karihan ng Diyos. Pero kung si Fernando pag-uusapan, sabi niya, kahit butas ng garayon, papasokin ko. Pero dito po, mga kapatid, sabi po ng ating Panginoong Isokristo na mas, mas, mas mahirap ang pumasok na mayaman sa karihan ng Diyos. Hindi, hindi po natin alam kung bakit. Ano po? So, beloved brothers and sisters, and there are, there are times that God is very angry at the rich people. Siya po ay nagagalit sa mga taong mayaman according to our passage in James chapter 5 verses 1 to 6. Beloved brothers and sisters. At kung ating pag-aaralan, Para mapag-aralan natin mabuti, mga kapatid, let's consider four questions na ating sasagutin. Number one question. Who is James addressing, addri, addressing in this passage? Or who is the recipient of this passage? Sino po yung tumatanggap dito sa kanino yung address ni James itong passage na to? And number two questions. What is in store for these rich men, rich people? Or number three, why is God so angry at them? Number four, what applications can we draw to the 
this passage. Ano po yung makukuha natin sa passage na ito? First, number one, 